Hello. Good morning. Hi, hey, everybody. Are we, is, do we have sound? Is everything, are we good? Can you hear us? Can you see us? Is everything working? Let us know. There's like a delay, but. I think my is up. too loud. Hold on. Me squealing in your ear as per usual. Oh. It was turned all the way up. I'm like, what is happening oh right now? God. Lisa excited at top volume is, it's a whole thing. <laughs> Daddy, he made it. He made it. He got it. Good morning. Good hello. morning. Good morning. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. I hope everybody has a beverage. I'm on my second coffee of the day. I've actually been awake for forever, so I apologize in advance for any high energy, hyperness, uh, obnoxiousness that is coming your way. Yeah, because listen, this is cup number three, and it's like Nespresso, and it's so okay. good. I'm gonna be rattling by the end of this but hey I'm, worth it i'm here for rattly danny I'm, I'm here for it for real let us all know what you're drinking what you're eating what you're doing yeah, what are you guys up to hit us up we have like no official plan for today we're just chilling. absolutely not this is we just hanging out man this is glitter and gumbo mm. there ain't no pressure yeah. right here we just chilling yeah. We welcome him in our whole community back. Um, Hell yeah. Whoever wants to be here, we just want to hang out with you guys. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to drink coffee and we're going to talk like the friends that we are. And you get to join in in our conversation. Amazing. Ooh, Dr. Pepper. Lord. I'm, sorry, I'm really disappointed. Lisa isn't dressed like a unicorn and Danny is a gator. Listen. But look, I got my crawfish on. Oh, you do so. What yeah. does that top part say? What does it mean? It's a crevice. A crevice is crawfish in Cajun French. A crevice. Oh, it's crawfish. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah. But I'm in I'm in my jammy pants, which I've been wearing <laughs> all day. And uh I'm just I'm in I'm in my comfies. This is what we're doing. Yeah. We're just chilling. Just hanging out, oh, man. God. We can talk tarot. We can talk whatever. We just want this to be like a cozy, chill hangout space. Yeah. We we've we've made some plans. Like we've talked a little bit about what we want to do here. We uh, was it was it Logan at Large? I just brought this up to you a second ago. Logan at Larkin Legend. That was who it was, right? That was that who it was that brought up the gumbo. Oh, I think oh, so. Dave, I think so, though. Are um, you in here, Logan? If you are, yeah. let us know. Um, yeah. But we talked about like you walking me through gumbo one episode. That'd be fun. That would be so much fun. And like, it's so funny because there's like a whole, like it can go through like this whole like ritual process, you know, cause you make your roux. Now you can make your roux first and then you can saute your onions and then you can put your roux in and then, or you can just make it all together. It's like, there's so many different like, ways to go about it it's all about like what you feel and just like creating the ritual of making gumbo so it's like it's like a whole fun process so i think that would be really cool to be able to like share. i mean anybody can make it but like you can't get that cajun sausage nowhere else yeah no i know but like what i feel like we need to do is like i'd have we'd have to figure out all the right like ingredients and substitutions and all that stuff and then It'd be really cool if we could get, could you do it on your phone? I'm just wondering, could we have you cooking and like, me, is that too much chaos? That'd be wild. I don't but think that would be too much to chaos at all. But if we're going to do this, I want to send you some real Cajun sausage. You can't. Can you send me a... sausage in Canada? Yes. Is I'm it dry? I'm sure I can. We used to send it to um, Alaska. Is so... it a dried sausage or a fresh sausage? It's fresh sausage. I wonder how I could probably send you both, honestly. Because listen, the sausage, we, like, it cannot be replicated. It can't. Like, I have tried sausage in many, many, many states. You yeah. cannot mimic a Cajun fresh sausage or a Cajun smoked sausage. You yeah, know? Everybody's yeah, baby. Baby. <laughs> yeah. I have you gotta to have that real Cajun sausage, baby. Yes. It needs to be, it needs to be the right experience because I've never oh in my, my life had gumbo. Oh my ever. God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. So 
I know this is not the time to figure this out, but God damn it. Now I'm started. Okay. I know. Listen, I know. Because like, if you want a full care package, I can send you either a bottle of my rue, if I can get it packaged correctly. But if oh, not, I can send you some Savoirs, which is the closest to my rue that you can probably get. Okay. Yeah. And okay. so I can do that. And then I can also teach you how to make some good rice dressing and I can send you a stock. Listen, but, I'm here. For no, I'm saying, you want to learn how to cook? Baby, I'm going to show you how to cook like a Cajun. I have been wanting, like, I need, I've been wanting Danny to cook for me. Y'all don't even know, like for so long. I'm like, I need to get out there, but like, listen, let's, let's do what we can. This sounds amazing. We just have to look up, like, I don't want it to get like destroyed at customs. That would break my actual heart. Oh my I God. I know. Plan. So like, we just got to make sure that I, yeah. I can't, but there's no, like, like it's, it's meat products. So, uh, um, dried might though, if dried is like jerky, I feel like it, it could work. Cause like, if it's a preserved dried, that might go, um, yeah, there's a way. I'm going to talk to my friend that was in Alaska and see. I'm going to talk to him and see how that goes and like what he thinks. It. Did it have to go through Canada to get to Alaska? This is me just being dumb, but like. I don't know. Sometimes it does. Like it depends on if it's like flown or if it's driven. <laughs> really? Do you know, as funny as that is, Jacob and I went. Um, we went riding yesterday. Um, we had the top off and everything. What? Look, what is this? What is happening? What is happening right here? Well, in chat are gonna <laughs> like literally make me die. Danny doesn't have the context. There was a bit of sausage. <laughs> is this continued sausage talk with boyfriend? I'm assuming. Were you collecting <laughs> sausage? <laughs> Wait. Oh, it's not what it sounds like. I swear, it was actual sausage, like not act, like video game. This is in a video game, okay? This is in the game Don and I are streaming, and there may have been an entire crate full of sausages. And I said that I was collecting the sausages, and then of course it went places because it it, it went places. It of we all understand. It went places. Of we all understand. God, Don is not helping in the chat. Um, can, I'm can sure she is not. Them? I just what was say, it? At, what was it? Six hours of sausage collecting. <laughs> it was a it was a long stream yesterday. Um, before we get too into the weeds, I just wanted to take a second. Holy crap, y'all! You guys have been amazing. We appreciate you all so 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 much. I think we just both wanted a chance to say thank you for being amazing oh and for being here and being present and You're just supporting us and supporting each other. You know, I know that. Yeah. Things are not easy, you know, like mm -hmm. not only for Anywhere. us, but for the people who like we feel counted on us to be there. We read every message and every like we want one. you to know that we heard you. Yeah, we heard. That's why we're here. We heard you. Yeah. And so we couldn't say no. We couldn't. No. Because you no. guys and matter to us just as much as we matter to you, which oh. was humbling and overwhelming and unbelievable. And so y'all, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you real. so much. We love you all so, 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 so much. And we're so happy to be able to create, create a space where we can actually just like be excited and be, you know, move forward, do fun things. We yeah, are for real. Oh my God. The comments are going to like, Oh my God, I can't even, again. I'm going to cry. So stop. I know. Stop. <laughs> yeah. But we're really excited about this. We're going to have so much fun. We are, yeah. Yeah. we're going to have people on with us I, next month. We're going to drag Dawn on here, I think. Oh yeah. Um, we're dragging Dawn for sure. Confirmed. Yeah. Confirmed. Dawn. Yeah, it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> it's happening. Um, and we just can't wait to do fun things with this space. So we're really stoked, but we just wanted to say thank you so, yeah. so much. So much. But yeah. Now Danny's got to work on getting me some Cajun, Cajun ingredients. Yes. And listen, so fun. Uh, we were, as we were riding around yesterday, so we went to where um, my dad is from, uh, which is a uh, bro bridge. It's our Pont Bro in uh, Cajun French, but we, we went right around 
Oh, I thought I heard myself. Okay, no. Uh oh. I'm okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, this is a freedom mug. I'll tell y'all about that mug in a bit. But um Oh yeah, you need to tell the story. Yeah, so we were riding and um oh shit, now I lost my train of thought. Oh crap. Cajun. Cajun. You were talking about going. <laughs> yeah. And uh we had went, I think we were either sitting down for breakfast or whatever, Jacob and I, and we were like, man, if Peggy and Lisa could come down, like, where would we bring them if they could be here? Everywhere. I want to see everything. Oh, my God. French press for brunch. The best. The Oh, God. The best of, like, it almost tastes like your momo would have made it. But it's like fancied up kind of Cajun food. It's like my favorite thing ever. Right? You know what I'm, you know what I'm excited for if I get down there, honestly, is like sitting and drinking coffee or drinking other stuff. And just chilling. That's what that's that. Okay. So you picked out you picked up was that breakfast you said the first place? That that's was breakfast. breakfast. Mm -hmm. Okay, take me where where are we going next? And then um I was saying probably like somewhere like a Fizos or a Dupuis or Shucks. Get you some like fun Cajun food. You know what I mean? Pinchers. We got yeah. Pinchers and Maurice, you know. But like I was like, what would you like? What would I show you? And it was driving to Lake Martin. Like there's we're literally like you're in the swamp. Like you're in the swamp. Heading over oh there. God. And like you're you're driving along the side and it's all these palmettas and cypress trees and oak trees. There's all the hanging moss and there's, you know, whatever. And I'm like, yeah. you know, I took this for granted as a kid. Like, this is just what I saw, you know? Yeah. And it's like, oh no, man. I don't think people see this. Like, oh. this is something that I'd want to show you. Doing that, going yeah. right over the Atchafalaya so you could see the basin. Oh, oh man. My God. Mm. Oh, my God. So, we got to get y'all down here. I mean, I obviously, oh, yeah. I want to go there, but, like, we got to get y'all down I mean, here. Obviously. Well, that's like, that's, like, hearth and home for you. I feel like there's a different energy to somebody showing you their, like, their land. I don't know if that makes, does that sound weird? But, like. That, no, it's, like, yeah. It's your it, land. It, it's like it your is. place and like, I don't, I don't have that the same way. So I'm, that would be such an experience. I would love that. I would and love that. There um, are some places just, that are like, it's one of those like weird things where it's like, it's run down, it's taken over. Like the land takes shit back over here. Yeah. Like, I, like that's the kind of shit that I want to show people like where it's like, you know, like, oh. We 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 will definitely say we will definitely say if Peggy and I get out to Louisiana we will let y'all know so if anybody is in the area and wants to hook up we can all meet up or something we would do that for oh sure. my god yeah oh we my god yeah <laughs> this chat is busy I'm trying to catch a comments y'all somebody asked oh, us yeah. um somebody asked I'm... us are you going to be alternating which channel you stream on we are for sure yeah. so it'll go back and forth between Danny and my channel. Um, just every other month, I'm assuming, unless there's a reason one of us can't host or something, then we'll figure it out on one of ours. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, yeah, just expect that next yeah. month it'll be on Danny's and then the month that after it'll be over here. Um, for sure. Just for flip -flop because we said, why keep it separate? You know, this is yeah. us. We're just going to put it all yeah. in one playlist. Can you explain that, Lisa? Oh, yeah. So um, we'll create a playlist so that all the episodes will be together. And I'm going to convert it into a podcast playlist, which I think just makes it easier to find an ad or something. I don't know. But we will put these into a playlist. And then both Danny and I can have the playlist like linked on our channels. But you'll be able to find the episodes really easy without having to hunt all over. But that way we can just keep it on our existing channels, which honestly is so much easier to manage as well. <laughs> yeah. So, that is what we're planning to do. So yes, there will definitely be a master playlist for sure. Um, just to answer that question. Yeah. Um, we are never, I am never deleting my channel. If no. I, I cannot imagine a, a situation in which I would want my content gone like that. If, if I were to ever decide I couldn't do tarot two for some reason, which I can't imagine, I can't imagine just not wanting to be here. But if that no. were to ever happen, I would not, 
that's years of content and work. That's not going anywhere. And honestly, like for me on a different level, I would never delete that. Like not only for me, but for Lennon. Everybody else. Yeah. 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 Why would I take that? I, like, I'm not doing that. I'm not. Mm -mm. If, no. if I put it out, I meant to put it out. And that's, yeah, that's just I what it is. It. I'm not going to take it back because I feel like that's taking back a piece of me that maybe Lennon can find and maybe it'll be good and maybe it'll be bad. It's you true. know, it's real. It's, but it's, it's real. Yeah. yeah. This is who I am. Yeah. This is a part of who I am. And like, I'm not taking that back that, but that's the kind of person I've always been. Like Same. I still have yeah. notebooks from when I was a oh kid. God. My God, y'all for real. Oh. Thank you. You guys are so sweet. Yeah, Don, exactly. I said what I said and it needs to stay. I, I, y'all, I've said some dumbass shit. <laughs> Channel, I know for a fact, it's there. It's who I am. Like, I, I, I never even deleted. I don't know if you ever did. I, I never deleted my very first. You can find all my stuff. I think there's one Ooh. or two I took down that were like kind of personal, that ended up being kind of personal. But like, Same. If it's I think just, maybe people, one or like, two, but yeah, 90%, I was like, nah. Yeah. This like piece that. of hair yeah. is going yeah. to drive me batshit crazy. That's, that's my I life. Like I usually person have on your channel. Are, are, is, it, is it going to ding you if I say bad words? No, oh, you say bad words. You're fine. Okay. Because we're not here. Sure how it, because listen, uh, listen, I'll take the ding. I don't give a shit. Yeah, yeah I don't give a shit either. <laughs> <laughs> I think the stream with Dawn has been really good for me in that way, just to have a space where I don't have to like I, think about it. It's been so when good. I tell you watching you guys, I laugh so hard. Like I can't, I cannot. Y'all are hilarious, and I love how just real it is. Like it's like my favorite thing. I will just put it's it on and like skim through it. it. Oh my god, this is great! It's a, it's a little <laughs> unicorn horn, Danny. Listen. Okay, so uh, Eric just asked Lisa. us, oh, what is the concept for this new project? So really, we just wanted to show up as us. I mean, Glitter and Gumbo is perfect because it's like I bring all the like, you know, the unicorn rainbow business. And <laughs> Danny brings all the Cajun, like folk witchy yumminess. And we just want to bring those energies together. We're probably going to talk some witchy stuff, some tarot stuff. Danny and I are very aligned in the way that we work with tarot too. So I'm sure we're going to have some really cool conversations about how we read and how we work with intuition and all that kind of stuff. Yes. I think we really want to have some conversations about that. That's going to be awesome. Yeah. 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 Cause we read very similar and it's, I think it's definitely worth a chat uh, just kind of describing and going through because like there are some things that I see you do where I'm like, Oh, I do that. And then like, I'll see other yeah. things and I'm like, Ooh, I like what you did there. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's, hey, it's like I really a forever learning. I watch your member readings because I want to see how you, how you throw down with cards. Because we're, I think we approach the cards energetically similarly, but of course our actual styles are much different, which is cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this would be cool. This would be cool. Oh, that would be so fun. Yeah. This exactly. Yeah. Lisa, bring the sparkle. Danny, bring in the spice. Listen, y'all, spicy Danny is my favorite. My favorite. <laughs> Spicy Danny has shown her ass Best. all of 2024. <laughs> she just been yeah, running just a wild. And just a whole moment. It's it's <sighs> it, I'm living for it. I'm living for it. Oh my god. But I like I like the um some of the ideas we've already bounced around. You know, we want to have conversations with people, we want to have conversations with each other. We just want to do our thing and have a space where we can connect with all of you. And yeah, we're super stoked. We're super stoked. But yeah. if you have ideas, if you have requests, things you want to see us do, hit us up. Um, I will star comments as I see them. If y'all see anything, say anything that I can snag. The chat's moving pretty fast, but I will snag what I can. And um, if you come back after or you watch this back later, drop it in the comments. Let us know what you want to see us cover, what topics you'd like to see us talk about, what who, what guests you want to see us have on? Because we definitely want to be having community conversations too. I was just um, telling Danny that I was on um, recording with Benny this morning, Benny at the Fool's Apprentice, having a conversation with other community members. And it's so, I just, I love opportunities to like 
just freaking get real with each other. What are you doing, Miss Danny? Hold, please. Hold, please. Oh, oh no, you're not. You are. Oh no, you're not. Oh no, you're not. Okay, you need to show. I don't have my paint pen right here. So I thought I would fix it temporarily with my little my little crayon here. But um I saw that comment scroll by in the chat. Yeah, I saw that. Hey, listen. I planned on fixing it and totally forgot. But you see, I don't think they can actually replicate like like her actual, you know what I mean? It's representation whole, in some whole. ways. So whole vibe. Yeah. I love the <laughs> I just lost my shit entirely. <laughs> Live on camera. I cannot. Yeah. So um sorry, we... I got totally distracted. That was like a whole Best thing. I was like, we doing this. <laughs> oh my god. I propose a contest where Lisa and Danny get quizzed on tarot cards by their books. What do you mean? Explain, explain, explain yourself. <gasps> by their backs. Oh, by their backs. Oh. See if we can oh. guess the deck by the back. Is that like that game? Like, uh, uh, there's that game. Who is it or whatever? Remember with the little flip up thingies? Do you know what I'm talking about? Guess who? Guess who? Like, guess who, but with tarot? Is that what you mean? That sounds so fun. I've started oh. that. I've started that. That sounds like a fun time. Uh, welcome to everybody joining us, y'all. I cannot in a million years try to say hello to all of you individually. <laughs> hello. Thank you. Everything is, I'm like trying to. Pay. I'm like, I see. I'm like, okay, Don Michelle, Lady Strange. But, but, yeah, but, but, game but, 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 memory. Oh, are we sniffing decks? Memory now? game. Yeah, yeah. like, I see. Yeah, like, which deck, deck, yeah. Okay, listen. Um, I, I need to know what what deck smells. <laughs> of all the things we snag and chat, but I was sitting here the other day. I kid you not. I was legitimately like holding up cards, and I was like, like I was like, helping them. <laughs> Something is wrong with me. I think I'm broken. I literally <laughs> love. Oh my god! Smelling them so much. What is wrong with me? And Luella and Inky Colory guidebooks. Those smell so good. Okay, listen, so I do agree with that. Like me, it's a book, man. And you know what? Like, okay. Wait, what do I have right here? What do I have right here? Wait. Yeah. Tarot taboo. Okay, don't lose your thought, Danny. But I just I need to ask yeah. Marlon. I'm gonna this later. Um, okay, what were you about to say? I don't want to de derail you. Like the papery pages, oh, like the like ones that almost feel like construction paper. Yes, yes, that smell is so good too. I think, like, I feel like this, these pages age the best. So, like, the mm -hmm. older they get, the better they smell. Like, used bookstore smell, like when you wander in and you just want to stick your face in all the books. Yeah. Oh my that God. Smell, Even if it's like, nothing... it's like a slightly moldy, but like, I'm okay with that. Like, you know what I yeah. mean? We were walking around yeah. the antique mall yesterday, and that's like how it smells like your mama's closet. And I'm, I was like, I'm here for it. Yeah. <laughs> like, like it's somebody needs to, to distill that scent and make a candle out of it. Like, for real. Like, can you imagine? I have seen somebody was selling like a used, a u not used books, but like a books and coffee candle. The problem I have with that is that I feel like the coffee would over overpower the book smell because coffee just does that. I'm mm. like, I want, I want books. I want to smell books. books. Like a That's library. Okay. Like I, I know, like we had this little bitty, I mean, it's still there. They, they expanded it a little bit. They kind of fixed it up, but like we had this little bitty library in Maurice. And like you'd walk in and it, it was made out of this old house, you know? And so you'd walk in and it had that old smell already. And then you added yeah. all the old books in there. And it was like, I want that smell in a candle, oh, you know, like that, that like. Exact smell. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh. oh, my God. That's amazing. Oh, Black, Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. I think I got a sample of one of their, I think it was called something library must it started with an M. Q, are you the reason I have like 12 or 15 of the Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab perfume oils now? Is it your fault? I just want to say <laughs> a bad word, but I'm not going to go I'm just going to say F you. The amount of money I have spent. Somebody told me the Black Phoenix, have you ever, have you ever smelled them? They're an independent perfume no. oil brand. 
Oh my God. So they put out a last unicorn collection, which is how I went down the rabbit hole. Oh, I remember when you grabbed that. Yeah. You mean the several of them that I grabbed? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like the, the collection. And they have an Alice, yeah, Miskatonic University. Yes. That is the scent that's kind of used book. Kind of, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. But I need that in a candle. I guess I could set my own candles with it you if could. I got some, but. Or I even could. some wax. My if you melt some them, wax, you can put it, you can put your oils in it. I should really try that because I have one that's called um, fudge marshmallow. I think it literally, you smell like you're like, you smell delicious. <laughs> but my favorite ones are like, there's an Alice collection and the scent Alice is like candied roses, kind of. Oh my God. And you see me, I am like, I mean, who's shocked? I'm like an amber musk kind of girl. Like I like it's those really like good. Earthy, earthy, musky. Listen, you need to you need to get some samples from BPAL because okay. they have they have they have graveyard dirt. And like <sighs> like when I tell you they have really like you cannot get earthier scents than you can get from BPAL. Like I can't oh, handle man. some of their earthy ones, but they've got like really good, like musky, like ambery ones. And then they've got like really earthy, like they are incredible. They are incredible. And I have, I cannot stop. I've, I've, I will send you samples. I've got a bag oh, of samples. I will, I will get some of my samples and I will send them to you because you need to smell some of their smells. I don't think I kept a lot of the really, really earthy ones, but I've got others. I will send you some, some B-Pal samples. Oh, like God. it needs to happen. Um, oh, oh let me get a link up for people who are like, what are y'all talking oh, about? Yeah. Their website email is so overwhelming, but they do have a section for like favorites. Like if you browse around, you'll find a section for favorites and you can order like they're called, oh, what are they called? They're called, um, imps. <laughs> they're like little sample packs. A little bitty. Um, yeah. Little sample packs. Y'all, if you like sense, it's a whole, I apologize. I apologize to all of your wallets. <laughs> I apologize. To, to everybody. I'm, I'm very sorry, but <laughs> just, just, just try it. Um, at least it needs a lumber, at least it needs a lumberjack, a lumberjack scent. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Listen, uh, the lumberjack person I like watching on, on Instagram and TikTok is partnered now, you know, just so y'all know. She posted a really sweet partnered Thing. I don't really care as long as she continues to chop wood for me. <laughs> it's me specifically. She's doing it for me specifically. <laughs> she didn't know. Like, do you do you, do you know who I'm talking These are my about? videos that I'm allowing you to see. Yeah, these are, these are for me. And I am just really kind and generous to share it with all of you. Yeah, it's um it's pretty incredible. I can't could not tell you her name. I, I don't even know her account name. Like that's how bad it is. Like she just comes, I'm like, there's just a woman chopping wood. Like, I'm done. That's where I'm at. I I don't need your name. <laughs> I, I, don't need, I don't need shit else. Okay, I just need to plug this up out in. there for understanding me. Yeah. Oh my god. Mm -mm. Somebody said something about a hundred and fifty dollar coffee mug, and now it's gone, and I can't find the comment. And whoever you are, fess up and tell us about it. That's that's what I want right now. <laughs> Somebody tell us about your about your mug. Um, yeah. For real. Lisa went down the mug rabbit hole. She got her a nice ass mug. Her too bought me and Peggy each one of these like mugs that keep your coffee hot forever but well like two hours but with the saucer forever um d does she use hers no so you know what happens I use mine literally around the clock I, I do my coffee in the morning I put the lid on it I take it with me to work I have an extra saucer at work to keep it hot because I'm ridiculous and then on the weekends <laughs> what happens is I forget to grab the saucer and I just drink it until the battery dies and then when the battery dies i steal peggy's and i get my second coffee <laughs> reverse use that until the battery dies so it's fine it's fine yeah, and every once like in a while you have a cup yeah that's just, warm and perfect for you so you can set with your phone your exact perfect drinking temperature and if that is not the one of life's most <laughs> like i am a spoiled princess unicorn right now like that is the most unnecessary item i have in my life and it is incredible and i feel so lucky those are always the best happened. kind they're just like this has no purpose but to make me the most happy princess in the whole world and that's yeah. okay like yeah. yeah like yeah i recognize that this is frivolous but amazing like that's yes. where it sits for me that's how that's how me and jacob are about our 
our vehicles, like our Broncos, like it, that was one of those things where like, yeah. I don't give a shit. This is about romanticizing our life, period. Yeah. I want to yeah. be able to ride with the top down, doors off, like go wherever, like I'm going to do that. And then, then if I want a mug that's just going to keep my coffee the perfect temperature, yeah. then like I'm going to fucking do that. You know what I mean? Yes. Oh, Andy, are you talking about the Amber Buck? Of course, I'm an idiot. Why I did not put those two together at all. What, is that? <laughs> what, is what are you talking about? Oh, the one I'm drinking out of? Is that the one you? I'm such an idiot. I, I, like, can't with I was like, my mug was like $7. <laughs> I got it in Mexico. I it's my my little literally. Yes, Nicole Cole Cole and thank y'all for knowing her name. Thank you. Thank you for not. Yeah, thank you for knowing. I'm terrible. Um, can we? uh, You said something a minute ago, Danny, that I want to come back to. You said romancing your life, and I think that is such a cool concept in general. The idea of romancing our lives, like letting ourselves lean into the things that give us pleasure and joy. Without whether or not it fits just some for the kind sake of, of it, yeah, for the sake of it, like, isn't that kind of what we do in a way with like tarot and our like yes. decadent enjoyment of multiple decks, for example? Yes. We're romancing our love of tarot. We are we are bringing romance into that part of our life. I love that. Yes, I love that. And and you know we this year has been a year, and we're only in fucking February, right? So like, yeah. uh, oh God, this year, it's, just, it's <laughs> been a whole, it's been a whole thing. Oh like, go. I'm so glad we're in 2026 now. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it feels like. Shit. Uh, so, you know, yeah. we were talking about that, you know, this whole weekend. It's like, you know, I just yeah. want to romanticize my life because why the hell not? I'm a grown ass woman. I've yeah, been okay. through what I've been through. and like. I'm done with yeah all the bullshit. Like I just want to like yeah. do me and do like the most fun things and the most romantic things and the most uh, you know spontaneous things. Like yes. I just want to go and do and be and like not worry about the other stuff. You know, for real. Yeah, like just I think I think what's happening too for me, and I don't know if this is like a mid forties thing or like what this is, but I feel like I'm at a point in my life now where I'm like, I've lived enough and experienced enough that I'm like, I know now where I want to put my energy and where I don't. And like, I feel like I'm much clearer about, I still mess it up. Like I still get way out of balance, you know? Yeah. Like, clearly. Um, but I, I, I feel like I've got a better handle now on the importance of actually enjoying your life and not just living exclusively to fulfill point to, 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 do you know what I'm saying? To like, yes. to, to fulfill a purpose. Like yes. I want to have a purpose, but like, I don't want the purpose to, to be all I live for. I want to live, live for. Yeah. The people I love and the relationships in my life and the, yeah, I want to feel grounded in that real day to day truth. The stuff that I'm going to want to think about when I'm like 95. Exactly. And you know, I'm coming up, I turned 40 in July. And yeah. so it's like, it's all leading up to this point. It feels like, you know, it's all coming to a head. And like, I remember when I first turned 30, you know, thinking like, oh, I can't wait. You know, everybody talks about the thirties doing this, but then they talk about the forties. And I'm like, you know, I heard everybody's life story. I tell you that, um, decks for decades, like opened my eyes, like for the first time when, you know, seeing everybody's life story and how it kind of followed the same vibe. And I was yeah. like waiting for that time because everybody's like in your forties, you don't give up about anything. Shit. You, you know what I mean? Like you can't, you know, like take it off, throw it off. You know what I mean? And yes. man, I tell you what, I am knocking on that door and I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah. And I didn't think I would be, no. but you know, coming through these first couple months of this year, I feel like, I am already a completely different person than I was oh God, same. in November even, you know, and it's yeah. wild. Yeah. 
It's interesting too. We were talking about this, just you and I, about court cards. Are you comfortable talking about the court card? Yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we were talking about court cards and like, I was, we were talking about like, oftentimes we'll have a court card or more than one that we kind of identify with. And I was talking about how, um, I'm going to speak for just mine and then I'll let you speak to yours if you want. But I was talking about how I often, um, I really, really strongly associate with the page of cups, but I had like a, like a low amount, like a tiny amount of shame around that. Like I shouldn't be associating with the page of cups. Like I'm a grown ass woman. (laughs) You know what I mean? Um, and so for a long time I would say, and it didn't feel I convinced myself, if that makes sense. Like it didn't feel quite right, but it also, I don't know, I, maybe I was like a, a, a trying to attain it in some way, but I was like, I kind of feel like I'm, when I'm at my best, I'm like, I'm like queen of cups. You know what I mean? But in truth, while I probably have queen of cups moments, I'm fucking the page of cups. Like that's who I am. And I think yeah. the, the older I get, the more I'm like, you know what? That's okay. Like, it's okay that I am always to some degree going to be a little naive. I am always to some degree going to be a little rose colored glasses. I'm always to some degree going to be a little bit overly optimistic sometimes and less grounded. I surround myself with people that can help me with being grounded yeah. where I need to be, you know, but I, I kind of was thinking about how for a lot of us that shifts and change and my relationship with my identity with that card has shifted and changed over the years, but it still has remained pretty solid. But I think it's interesting how that can shift. And I know you were talking about court card stuff too. And like, yeah. And yeah, cause for me, I had been like, I've always associated myself um, with the queen of cups. That's like my Mm -hmm. card, you know, I've always seen myself there. I was like, I feel that intuition that, need to nurture that kind of cancer rhythm uh kind of thing it just really fit it kind of clicked you know what i mean you know those kind of energies that high priestess energy i kind of like i clicked into that but recently i had the queen of wands appear and like she is not letting go at all like she right, came up. In, I think it was like two or three different readings that I did came up as my energy, and I was just like, "Bro, where is this coming from?" Like, I've never associated myself with that, but man, I feel that energy right now. Like, I feel her coming through in such oh. a dramatic way, and yeah. so um, it was kind of it had me shift and and start exploring that energy, and I. It was like one of those moments where like, I'm like kind of pegging, where's that fire coming from, right? So I do have it in my chart there in my top three. Cause I'm a Cancer sun. Yeah. I am a Sagittarius moon and I'm a Gemini rising. That makes so much freaking sense. Cause when you were first telling me about this with this queen of wands thing, and I told you this directly too, I feel like from the outside in, you've always been that mix of fire and water to me. Like, I feel like the way that I engage with you and your energy has always been that mix, but I definitely feel more fire from you lately. And I feel more, um, from an internal place. Like it seems more like yeah. you're in a much more empowered place in a lot of ways. Yeah. And I love, I freaking love that unicorn. I can't, I love it so much. And I, I I'm sorry, but I love it because I always, every single freaking time I glide you, I'm like, there's this. I know, there. they're like, do that one thing. And now I just can't, like, I don't. Yeah. I'm done with you. I'm done with it's you. It's pretty cool to, like, it's pretty cool to, like, evolve with the energy and see how you shift and change over time. And it's true. Peggy and then talk about this all the time with, like, how if you don't change at all, like, if you, if you don't shift and change, then there might be something you're missing. Like it's important to grow and change, it's right? It's important to do that. And you know, yeah. another yeah. whole aspect is Jacob is a triple Sagittarius. Dang. But he has more water than I've ever seen, like in his soul. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which is a really interesting dynamic. And like we we talked a lot about that. Because he came up uh, in a couple of readings. It was like emperor energy. And then it was king of cups. And in the last one, it was a king of wands. It's like that ability to to feel that water at the same. Like, it was just such an interesting deep dive. You know what I mean? Like, considering our shifts and, and movements 
in, in in relation to something as simple as court cards, like really puts your mind into a space to analyze like how you shift and change as a person throughout your life. I was just thinking that too, because we, because we have this, this foundational understanding of this system, it gives us a language to express and explore this stuff that, yeah. so it's like, it's the filter with which we can explore it. And, um, I don't want, <laughs> okay. I'll just say, um, something I've been really enjoying lately and I don't comment a lot, but, um, Barbara Moore has an Instagram now. She's going to kill me for mentioning this here. Uh, she has an Instagram now, but it's really cozy. And she comes on and she just talks about her life through the lens of tarot oh. in a really like, just sort of like in a really conversational way. And I think one of the things I've realized watching those and thinking about them is that I've been doing that for a long time. Like I conceptualize so much in my life through the lens of tarot because it's a system and an archetypal, um, it, there's archetypal representation through the tarot of every single aspect of life, I feel like. So therefore yes. it gives me a language to explore and express and dive into various aspects. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. So you just said a language. Where did I literally just read something? Was it in Rachel Pollock's book? Was it? Oh shit. It was. Are you reading 78 Degrees of Wisdom? It, it, it was. Okay literally highlighted right here many linguists notably benjamin wharf have demonstrated that our languages restrict our ability to perceive reality like a filter over the universe and truth the mystics tell us cannot be expressed in words that is the power of archetypes Exactly. Because it gives you a feeling. It gives you a moment. It gives you whatever. When you start trying to put words on a feeling, you box it in and you box the world in by giving everything names. And it was just like, click, 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 you know? Yes. Because I think the thing is, is that like one of the things that I talk about it is it's actually frustrating when I'm reading tarot and you, you, I don't know if you've seen me do this directly. I know I've read for you, but I can't remember if it's, if it's happened that much, but when I'm reading <clears throat> a lot of times what will happen is I'll get kind of a, the best way I know how to describe it is a picture and an analogy. It's often analogies, yes. but it's Same. visual. And mm -hmm. so as I'm reading, I'm trying to find a way to, with my words, express this internal image slash analogy. And it, it, it it almost feels like I could not, you guys are going to laugh so freaking hard at this. It almost feels like I could not possibly talk fast enough. Yes. <laughs> to use enough words to get it out of me. It's like there's this um, internal bottleneck. The moment we take yes. this concept and try to filter it down and express it outward. And, and I will say that in my own, re like in readings, when I do readings, I'm like, I wish I could give you this feeling and show you this because I'm trying to put this into words. <laughs> like, <laughs> I do that too. Because that's exactly, that's exactly what it's like. It's like, you're just, you're trying to, yes, Don Michelle says, trying to articulate a felt experience through the tarot. But the tarot also has this, because it's, it's images and it's a system and it's got all this rich meaning around it. It gives you additional language or additional words to use to express an idea. Exactly. And that's funny enough, this is why, this is going to be a weird segue. And this is why I feel like a really well done fandom deck is extra awesome because you now not only have the entire language of the system of tarot to work with, but now you also have the additional layer and I'm giving myself goosebumps. You also have the additional layer and language of the show or book or uh, game or whatever it is that that deck is about to, yes. it's like double you get, it's like, it's like getting yeah. a twofer. It's like, it's just keep it piled and piled. And it's like, all of a sudden you have so many ways to describe what you're trying to get across that it makes it so simple it's like do you understand this reference good let me describe it to you in that way you know what i mean yeah. like if i were to read for somebody with a harry potter deck and they know harry potter i would probably be able to hit those analogies so much easier to be like you know okay well do you know how it felt when this and this happened? Yeah. Okay, it's kind of like going through that, this kind of, it, you know, it's like, it just adds those layers of language because it's so hard to express certain things because it just boxes them in. And it's like, it's bigger than that. It's bigger than that. It's bigger than that. Yes. And I think this is the thing is like, the more layers we can add, the more we can expand that that internal language and different ways to express it. Yes, um, Tarot Geek just said this is like with Tarot of Delphi and art. 
if you know yes. the art, you know what it's called or what it's depicting. This again, just like with the fandom deck, it gives you a whole other layer. I was trying to explain this to my boss because he's like he does not get it with tarot, but he humors me when we talk about it. He's he's so supportive, but he like totally he's doesn't get it at all but like he tries <laughs> so yeah. i was trying to explain to him he's like why do you why because a lot of my decks get delivered at work right and he's like oh more tarot and he loves giving me crap right but he's like why do you need he's like i don't understand like if, if, if the hermit means a thing then why do you need more than one to look and i'm like no but then there's more then there's more there's what that hermit card looks like and yes. you and i read this way right so if they're not all the same they're like, not what the hermit reads like in the deviant moon is so different than the way it's going to read in the unicorn's journey tarot and like absolutely so absolutely and another thing for that is like it i don't know about you but like i before i do my readings i usually sit and That's take so in the energy before i before i start my reading like that's when i gather my deck i sit with the energy before i connect by starting right so I sit in that energy and I, I choose my deck and I'll be damned if I'm not surprised every single time when there's like, there is no other deck that would have showed me this. Yeah. Than this one, this deck yes. is the exact thing. There is no other hermit like that hermit. There is no other six of swords like that six of swords, you know, so you I can it. reference. These things are so cool. Oh my God, you guys. So yeah, we uh, the so way that that the art adds that extra layer. It's like you can't mm -hmm. you can't fake it. You know what I mean? Yeah, you can't fake it. What you just said though is is such a cool thing. This is part of my divination, and I think it is for you too. Part of the divination practice for how we serve others, because reading for others is picking the deck. Like that is a part of that divination. Yes. In fact, I rarely. I always tell clients they can request a deck. But I've, it's only happened like maybe, maybe that many times. And the funny thing is, is I'm kind of glad, like, I love it when people request decks because it's fun and different, but 99% of the time I pulled the deck. I remember, I still remember it's, it's super, I'm going to say, remember again, I'm very <laughs> hyper at the coffee. I'm sorry. Also, there's so many people in here and it's amazing. Um, but oh part of it is there's the moments that I remember as a reader, because I, I, I was like self-conscious about pulling a deck, but I knew it was the right one you know and then i pull the deck yeah. and every single freaking time i've done that even if it's like a really like a deck i would not usually consider oh. for client work like the deviant moon i Same. pull it i do a reading some intense powerful shit comes out and then i get an email being like holy shit because <clears throat> yeah yep. and i'm like okay and it validates that that is a part of my and that's of my practice as a reader is picking and that's the right why I for that to do it because yeah. exactly there is all like I don't know. There's just some, and it is, it's part of that divination process. I've only had it happen like one or two, one or two times um, yeah. that someone requested. It's not very often um, same way, but like, yeah, it's definitely a part of it because there are some times where I will literally start my reading with like, listen, I'm going to apologize for the pairing of these decks that I'm about to pull out because I don't like it, but that's what I got. You know what yes, I mean? That's the message and I just need. learned to roll with it because there is always a reason why. And I'm like shocked every time. Like I haven't seen this a million times, but it blows yeah. my mind every time. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 100%. 100%. Um, oh, about, so if you're on a phone, if you're on mobile, if you're either watching or even if we were recording on mobile, the hearts make hearts come up on the screen. So oh. I can't see it because I'm on computer, but other people on the stream will see it. It just makes like hearts just oh. go. <laughs> I can't, I can't with my words today. Y'all stop it. I mean, I love you guys, but stop it. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you. What the heck? Okay. Uh, anyway, is causing a ruckus today. I'm sorry if y'all can hear that. I mean, can we get a replay of that? Is that what you just did? Oh my god! Literally, what it sounds like. This morning, I was doing my makeup while I was gliding with Danny. Y'all, I almost peed my pants. Like I'm not even gonna lie, I almost peed my pants. I laughed so hard. I was like, this manic way of putting on makeup is probably the best thing I've ever seen. She would win the internet. I'm telling you, it was. If you only knew. 
it was like this is what it was it was like me slapping on bronzer i'm, I'm explaining how if you <laughs> explaining how it's a stick bronzer okay you guys are gonna care but i'm gonna tell you anyways <laughs> you gotta tell it because it was the, like it was the whole situation like listen talking about it loading up that brush just <laughs> Explaining, I'm explaining as I load the brush up with my bronzer. I'm explaining how I do it this way because otherwise, if you put it right on your face, that's going to be too much. Okay, so I'm just like telling her this while I'm swiping my brush across the bronzer stick. I start putting it all over my face. The instant panic because I had obviously done that a little too long. Panic when she's like, boom, and she goes, "Are you can over apply it just like I did." <laughs> And then it just progressively gets where she's like, oh, no. Oh, no. What am I? How am I can I fix it? <laughs> it was just a whole. It was like a whole moment. A whole moment. It was hilarious. I just was like, and, and like, literally, that is how I roll. I'm like, let me just put on too much of everything and then try to figure out how to calm it down. Like, that's literally how I make up. And me, I'm so one bad. of those, like, I'm like, I'll put a little bit. I'm like, whoo, that's enough. That's enough most days and then i will take it's like i have my manic episode where i'm just like i'm gonna slap everything i have on my face today and we're just gonna calm it down from there so i'm like i, I know I both, every time i know both aspects like some days i will go hard i know y'all seen some of my eye la my mascara i'm not my god dang it my eyeliner some days Lashes? oh eyeliner yeah. I was telling her, I was like, the reason I cannot do winged liners is because I would be that bitch who is like <laughs> doing wings. Like they're never even, so they're just more and more and more, and they would legit be out to freaking here. The only like, listen, cat eyes. The reason I don't know how to do makeup like a normal human being is because I never have done makeup like just to get out. Like I don't get out of bed and do my makeup to go about. I've never done that. I, I like discovered makeup as a form of play. And so it's like. If you know how I collect tarot, then you know how I apply my makeup. Like we're we're here, we're same place, yes. right? Just go all in and then try to figure out how to tone it down. Like that's how I live my life. <laughs> <laughs> just like, <laughs> what the like, just like Lisa in a nutshell. Oh we just God. get it's just too much, and then we start to calm it down. Like we just bring it all, and then we then we put it where it goes. I love it. Oh my God. Krista says you have to do the before shower makeup where all of a sudden your whole face is like blue right before shower because it doesn't matter. I want to do this so bad right now. So you could just do some crazy makeup and then just immediately go wash it off. Like get in the shower and wash it. That's so fun. I'm doing that and shit. And just like go That's ham. Happening. You know, I always think about those people who like do the, um, shit, I got something in my eye. That do the oh. um, special effects makeup that they'll like spend like hours yeah. sitting there and like painting their face and putting freaking rhinestones and like doing all this stuff yes. to just take it off. Take it off. Have you seen that reality show? There's a reality show, a, a body art, like a oh. uh, whole body. Like what was that called? It was, um, it was like I watch skin wars. Well, I watched skin wars. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I also, my favorite, my favorite was um, sh the one on sci-fi um, that they did the special effects makeup. Oh, this one too. This Face one too. off. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that was my favorite. Oh my yes. Oh, my God. How did we get to makeup? I think I did it. Why did I do I it? Know. Oh, we were talking about uh, your manic episode <laughs> of Booty oh, yeah. Makeup. Nobody is surprised. Everybody's like watching this, like, yeah, we, we knew that. That's how she didn't pick up. Like, this is not this is not a shock right now. Oh my god. Oh, we should do makeup on a stream together. That'd be fun oh as my hell. God, that would be fun. I would totally do it. You that know what we totally need to do? Fun. Oh my god, this would be so fun. I, I I would love to do this. I just need an excuse to do this where it would be really fun if I did my makeup and filmed it, and you did your makeup and filmed it. And then we had Jacob and Peggy come on <laughs> and do the voiceover explain what we're doing on our faces like jacob and peggy would be fucking amazing well and the because the craziest part is, is like you never know what side of jacob is going to take over well that's what i was going to say like it, you know be, like he'll just like knock it out of the be like, and peggy be like on. i don't know this is some shit i don't know <laughs> it's like but with jacob you never know it just depends on what mood he's in like he can be like oh spot on and other times he can be like wild as hell so yeah. i listen Russian roulette. 
<laughs> we need to get them on here with us one time. That'd be fun. Oh, That'd be fun as hell. Oh, that we do. That would be really fun. That would be amazing. We get together the four of us for sip and bitch. We do our sip and bitch. It's our thing. We yep. have some fun. Oh my god, it's like our favorite part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, oh, when are we doing that? Yeah, get us some four wine. of us. Yeah, some wine four of us just hanging right. out, hanging out. Shit. We have show and tell sometimes. <laughs> yes, we do. Amazing. Or let them do your makeup. Listen, I've I've done this oh, on video. There's can, proof. Uh, feel free to go look. Jacob would make you look awesome. Peggy was going for 80s hooker on me and um, succeeded. Mm. So, but she she probably could have done better. <laughs> yeah, but uh, she didn't. I, will, I have a sneaking oh suspicion. God, just, stop it. What the fuck? Stop it. I love you guys. But stop it. Holy shit. Okay, I'm going to star that bringing in the spouses, Mark. <laughs> Um, uh, what if you did makeovers on them? Uh, I have also done this. Um, I always think I'm better at putting makeup on other people than I actually am. Uh, Peggy looked like a drag queen. Again, there's yeah. proof. Feel free to go look. But we could try this. We could. I would love to see Jacob done the fuck up. That's, I would like to see that. Oh my God. He would, like, he'll do it. He'll do it. But he's also like, yeah. I hate this. <laughs> Oh my God, as much as he'll do just about anything i'm i don't know i don't know how much he would like that but maybe he would i mean listen you never know again whatever mood strikes him you know what i mean yeah maybe he would oh what is this we can he do, our lennon do it and i think maybe that's why he lets lennon do it and it's always a disaster so oh my god yeah that's different that is definitely different um uh, makeup is major arcana i'm trying to conceptualize this but that would be cool I don't know how. I guess you could colors or vibe it, I suppose. Yeah. By vibe or by colors. I guess in the same way that they do the, um, you know how those girls will do the, oh, well, and guys, I've seen everybody, I don't know why I was, whatever. All people, uh, all people. How those people um, do uh, like the Zodiac, they do the Zodiac makeup and it's all like. Oh, cool. I've seen know? that. I have seen that. I, I don't know. It's kind like, of funny. I always think I'm doing really unique things on my eyes, but with the exception of like y'all volunteering to have me do my makeup, Marlena and Dawn is about, I'm telling you, I'm, I can put it on my own face, but the only way I'm putting it on somebody else's face is if they literally have immediate plans to wash it off if it sucks. Cause it's probably going to suck, <laughs> but I would definitely try. I would try. I really tried with Peggy and it did not look right. And not just because <laughs> she looked like a drag queen, not just because I just don't listen. I don't know how to be chill. And I feel like makeup looks the best on other people when it's chill. Why are you really doing this? <laughs> Love you guys so much. Truly. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> not me like getting shy. Uh, anyways. Oh my God. Okay, so we have some requests. Let's let's review. Let's, let's review. We have some requests for. Oh my God. Okay, I'm so... like trying to see what everything like. Pull a card and do your makeup based on it. That would be fun. Yeah. That would be fun. Okay, so we have the what's who kind of tarot game. That sounds fun. Oh, I did want to mention this, Danny. Did you buy the tarot of echoes? I didn't. What do you mean you didn't? Mm. I don't even know if I like the Oracle of Echoes. Oh, really? Well, okay. Here's the thing. Like, I do, because I, I do use it, right? Like, I do what I don't, but I do what I don't. Okay, yeah, I get that. Like, it, I think it has something to do with the type of... Hold on. It's literally... It's right. What are y'all doing? I love you guys. Thank you, Lisa. That's so sweet. Thank you. I think Andy did it, too. Thank you, Andy. Oh, my God. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Lisa. Y'all oh, for reals. Why are you no, no, it's okay. Take your time. You're all good. You're all good. Don't even sweat it. Right. Oh, my there it is. Okay. Oh my God. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think it has something to do. Edition? Huh? Is it first edition? Not the more recent one, but the older okay. one? Second edition? Yeah. Second edition. And it's like, I I don't know. There's something about the art that like, like, I mean, I really like it, but I also, like, I really yeah. don't. And that's like a weird, 
Like, you know what I mean? Like, I like it, but like, I, I also don't like it. Yeah. You know? I get it. Like, okay, mm -hmm. it is a very unique style, art style. Some of them are freaking awesome, man. They're so awesome. I'm like, I'm trying too hard to understand. They're so awesome, right? They're they so, so awesome. awesome. But what like, about your third? oh no, I don't want to derail you. What were you going to say? But like, I don't know. Is, is something holds you back? Yeah, there's something that's like. Is it too specific? Sometimes oracles, if they hit too specific, like they feel like they're not. I think I think that's what it is. Like sometimes, like, okay, when I see the spinner, while I love this image, I don't feel like it goes in here. Like I don't feel like it works for me. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't know what it is. So I, I think that's why I was like, I don't think I'm going to get it. Because, like, I mean, like I said, I use it. I, like, I obviously there's something about it that I like, you know. Yeah. And like some of these images, just hit so well, but other ones yeah. are just so flat for me. Maybe I don't know. Yeah. I, really don't, know. I don't know. Like this, I don't like this card. I don't like it. Wait, which one is that? That's from the new edition, right? Listen. Listen. I don't what like. Is it, is it just the art kind of vibe? It's the art. It's the art in this one that I don't like. Like, I'm not feeling That's it. Fair. But like That's again, fair. I can see where it makes sense. We have the ear can I, You know, like I, I get it. It's not about that. Yeah. It's but just the like thing is the way that you read, kind of like the way that I read, the art has to click. And that is a right. nebulous, subjective experience that is so hard to explain to people because it's like I know I should. I like I know I should get it. But like something about this art or this art style or the way this is depicted, it does not click. And I yeah. think that's the thing I try to be really clear about when I'm like saying a deck doesn't work for me is because nine times out of 10, that's what it is. It's the subjective. Yes, because it's logically, I see it in a logical way. Yeah. It would work. However, yeah. I don't vibe with it. Yeah. And there's something about Anna's artwork that I it like is exactly the right like language like i don't need to translate mm. it as much so like there's the oracle of echoes man there was a period of time when that was one of the only oracles i used like over and over and over and over and over and over and over again and like it's still top bar it's like roots and wings and oracle of echoes are like my tops yeah roots and wings is so good. um so tarot of echoes i have not gotten in my hands yet and i'm super jealous of everyone who has a copy right now because i'm in canada and it takes a little longer um but that one is coming mass market correct i think and so oh. is oracle of echoes so oh, I heard about that. Yeah. Yeah. There will be a chance if you're like, cause I think she just did the one pre-order for the indie version. I think, I think. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh my God. <laughs> so I just got the, the Arthurian tarot, the one that you can get from France. Yes. Um, which people have been asking me for an exact link. I don't know how to help you. I, I went on Amazon France. I bought it. I didn't even translate. I didn't I, like, I, I meant it to was an accidental buy. French. <laughs> so I clicked buy it now and didn't realize. So it was just, it was purchased. It was what it was. Uh, so I didn't pay that much attention. So I bought it direct from Amazon France. That deck freaking amazing. So, so good. And now I'm going to have Tarot of Echoes. I'm going to have Tarot of Echoes, the Arthurian Oracle of Echoes. Tarot of the Abyss didn't work for me because it was monochromatic, but oh. yeah. Oh, uh, unicorn horn colors are how long you've been with the unicorn fam channel membership. So reds are new members. Stop stop it okay now i think people are just doing it, so like, stop now, it. now they are now they are danny and i both have channel members thank you barb danny and i both have channel memberships um so danny oh danny you did your freaking playing cards i've got that queued up i was just talking about that in a video oh, that, yeah. that teaching your playing card have you gone through the whole thing yet because i had to i had to pause and i've been saving them in a playlist okay so you've gone through the whole thing i cannot well, i've gone through like every card now yeah I, yeah I haven't done any of the extra stuff yet i just haven't been in a a space where i can you know do it that yet but you have gonna... to be in the right you have to be in the right vibe for it i think yeah it, well especially yeah. to teach it that's going to be a little something new um because yeah. it's like there's so much that I, like i want to be able to have a good representation of it it's like i'm mm -hmm. debating upon whether or not i should try to read like with somebody else or have a specific question in mind and like go on a full like scenario like if this was the scenario oh, then... here's tribute 
My volunteers tribute. Perfect. Yeah. Legit. Even you if you give me like, like a made up like a made up scenario and be like, read on this because like, I'm gonna be honest, she gets real. And like, I don't want to be spreading you, people shit on, you know? What I mean? No, you've learned what, what we could do is we could record it. And then if it goes somewhere that for, I'm pretty much an open book, but if it goes somewhere, whatever, we can scrap it and then do another one or do a fake one. I yeah. would love to have you read playing cards for me. Legit. I'm so down to volunteer for sure. Okay. I would love that. But I'd also totally get like, it, it's important to you. So you want it to be right. Mm -hmm. which I totally get. I totally get that. Yeah. Um, just to reiterate, cause somebody posted and I put it up the, um, somebody said that you can get the tarot Arthurian on us. So oh. yeah, the U S Amazon. So you can get it. You can get it there. It I, don't putting know. It up. I wonder if there was like requests or. Yeah. It happened yeah. before on, um, what was that? The, the tarot de Marseille. Remember that one? We could only get it from France originally. Yes. And I then we started it. Amazon. Okay. Yeah. Cause I had bought mine from France. Amazon US. Yeah. 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 It was it was really, really good. I love a love fest too, y'all. But yeah, yes, so Danny great. does Danny and I both do monthly member readings for I do it for my magical unicorn tier and up. I don't know how your tiers are set up. I'm on your top tier, but I wanna say I um my readings are at, at least you know, right now that I can keep up uh on both uh uh Bonton and above. Yeah. And um and then bon ami, and then I'll I, sometimes I do like the extra stuff and like my playing card stuff is all on my higher tiers, um, because that's yeah. usually where I kind of try those things and have like, you know, that like safe space to do that in that area. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, it's it's great. So if we if we could do some. If we Don and I have talked about this too, but there's got to be a way to do some like co membership collaborative type stuff. We got to figure that out because I know Don and I were talking about doing yeah. that at some point. That would be yeah, really cool. Be really yeah. Um, I am not going to newts this year. I am. Oh, wait, I hit the wrong one. There we go. Am I going to newts oh, this year? Yeah, no. Um, I don't think I'm, I'm waiting to see maybe, but it's like this much chance. I've got so much going on y'all. Like for real, for real, I got a kickstart on a launch. Holy crap. I got to get off my bus. Bro, it's about to get it's wild. wild. <laughs> it's so scary. I'm so scared. I don't know why. I think it's just, it's just putting myself out there in a different way. And it's like, it's like, it's like I'm starting a YouTube channel all over again. I've got like newbie vibes. Like I just, I can't, it's scary. <laughs> it's scary. So I might be procrastinating a tiny bit and also just trying to make sure everything is as perfect as possible. But there's no, like, there's a certain point when you have to just go, I'm going to just put it out. You have to let it go. It. Yeah. Have I you ever read Big Magic? Yes. I read it because of you and it literally changed my life. Like, I was about to say, book, like, I would, did you annotate or anything with that one? I don't think I did. I should. I should go back and read it again and annotate good. it. Especially, like, especially going through what you're about to, like, unfold. I think you really need a refresher. Even if you literally just, like, skim the pages and be like, oh, this jumps out to me. Like, yeah, just flip through the book. Like, I told I you, that you is how it. I. It was, I literally, that book is how I got the self-worth path out because when I was struggling to like push to the finish line on the self-worth path, you had just finished reading big magic or something and you were talking it up and you're like, Lisa, you need to read this. And I read it and like legitimately, I was like, I need to finish this book and get it out. I just need to get it out. Um, the book we're talking about is big magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. Elizabeth Gilbert. The one that wrote live, laugh, love. Eat, pray, love. Eat, pray, love. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it was some yeah. kind of basic Becky kind of name. I, did. I should do, Amanda. I should get it on. I should get it on audiobook. You should. Oh my god! God, hold on. Thank you, Discovering Dell. Thank you, Lady Strange. Thank you. Holy shit! Okay, so just so y'all know, oh my god, oh my god. Um, just so y'all know, when you give somebody memberships, it uh, assigns it randomly, I believe, from who's active, I think, and then also it gives them a supportive unicorn membership for one month i think so the first tier so you can check it out see what you think thank i've you, never Lisa. thank you i've never seen this this is wild to me I, I literally turned it on so that i could gift people memberships around christmas time see, I, I didn't even know you could freaking do that i don't know you have to opt in or something as a viewer so there should be some sort of pop-up thingy that lets you opt in to get gifted i don't understand how it works so thank you i, I don't I, no Listen, I don't do lives on my main channel 
So like none of this shit applies to me. I mean, I'm sorry. Like none of this, well, you know. <laughs> like none of it applies. Well, so I'm never, next month. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm because <laughs> I've never seen this, y'all. This is the coolest thing. This reminds me of like it's um. So cool. Oh my god! It was yeah. Oh, what was it called? Periscope. Well, heard of Periscope? I've literally never seen it though. I don't remember, but you could I've like. It. Wasn't it like pre TikTok? Wasn't isn't it kind of like a TikTok? So, or was it like a? Listen, it or was, was so it like, long what's that streaming one everybody does for games. What's that Twitch? It was like oh, like a Twitch. I don't know. I don't remember, but like I'm you could old. like. I know. <laughs> anyway, but but like I've never seen it. I've never seen a live because I never you know do them on um on my channel where I can see this. This oh, is like really the cool. hearts. oh I had the like hearts. Yes, that's what I'm thinking of. But it's like kind of yeah. like like you can see all the stuff coming up. It's just really cool. Was it was it related to Twitter? This I is might have been related community. to Twitter at some point. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Okay, somebody just posted a question. Oh, here it is. Okay. How often are you planning to do them live? Monthly, right? We want to do them monthly. monthly. Yeah. 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 We might pop up with extra if we're feeling it. Who knows? You know, yeah. right now we're planning on like anchor it in monthly just so we don't overwhelm ourselves. But that's yeah. Fine. Super excited. So it'll swap for those of you who are just joining now. These will swap between my channel and Danny's channel. So next yeah. one will be, so one will be on. Yeah. And we'll, yeah. we'll start up the, um, when I set it up, we'll start the, I guess, start the playlist that way. Yeah. Can somebody, um, is Barb in here still, or do we have a mod in here? If somebody can grab the link to check out Danny's membership, it is hard on Apple devices. I think you have to go to her channel and then you'll see a subscribe button and a join button, unless there's an actual link. Um, oh, yeah, you can join it on that. It might oh, be thanks, on Michelle. Oh, thank you, Dan. Or, it's Dawn. Yeah. All the Ds, damn it. You're welcome. <laughs> so many Ds. You're just um, thank you, thank, Dawn. Thank, thank you. Oops. Yeah. Oh. I've been watching on TV, but it doesn't have the chat. Yeah. Yeah. I, when I watch on TV, sometimes I grab my phone for the chat or whatever. Oh, that must I'll be what you're talking about. Too. Talking about. A lot of I times I watch. That's how I watch screen. Lisa and them. I pop it on the TV. I'm like, I'm not even gonna be in the chat because right? I'm about to watch this tomfoolery all by itself. I love, I love throwing tarot tube stuff on the TV so much. Me too. It. it is a force of nature today. Do you see this? This is. This fits the Queen of Wands vibes like nobody's so talking. well, right? Like just embody the shit yes. and like didn't think about it until after, you know? Yes. Oh my god, welcome to the chat. I just opened my phone for chat for first time ever. They always life size on my TV. I love it. Thanks for hopping in. We love to have you. Okay, so was glitter and gumbo on will glitter and gumbo? Oh no, 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 glitter and gumbo will not be available only be available to members no this is all yeah. public free everybody uh -uh. all good um we were chit chatting about doing also doing some member things at some point but yeah um that's no, just no. like us off the cuff riffing about ideas for other yeah, no, this is just this is for funsies we're not no yeah. no this is not that's not what this is about um always cast up to my tv oh my god i love that oh my god so I've got a few ideas that have come through in chat, but be thinking about it, y'all, what you want to see us do. Um, Marlena yeah. mentioned about a, a cult tea. I don't know what this is about. What's this about? What's this tag about? <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. Um, there's it's a, a lot of questions. I mean, I'm down. <laughs> I like, I, I I like I answering questions. I'm like, where's my phone? Yeah, we need, I've got it started, so we remember. Good. And I thought I saw another one. Yo, my stars have never my I star comments, but they're also mixed in with all the generous, awesome shit y'all are doing. So oh find the actual comments. Um, oh, a deck, a video about personifying our decks. We could totally talk about that. Oh yeah, that would be fun. You know what would be fun to do at some point would be to like. This is just off the cuff. I'm literally making shit up as we go. But wouldn't it be fun yeah. to do a help each other? You just decluttered your deck collection, though. But I was just going to say, wouldn't it be yeah, fun? Yeah, I'm to help always forever going through that shit. You know what I'm saying? Same. Like, 
I was literally thinking about that this morning. I was like, I don't know if I want that. Like, <laughs> he's like, sometimes I need a second opinion. Like, I was just thinking about how you're one of the people that kept me grounded when I was like, like t- about to tip over the fence on that freaking what was it, Terra Volatile. You're like, yeah. Lisa, I get it, but like, you're not gonna. I'm like, I know, I know, <laughs> but that would be fun to do like a, a back to like a side by side, help yeah. each other better, like get that other that would be opinion. Fun. Oh my God, Don Michelle. I have a suggestion play. What the fuck is up with that? Do you know the reference for this, Danny? No, so, I don't. Okay, so it's a drinking game. I we, I, we need to look up the rules. It's from Critical Role, which is the D&D oh, YouTube, oh, right? Okay. And, and I'm listening. I'm listening. That, it's like, I'm just reading. It's kind, and of like, it's kind of something like playing um, like truth or dare kind of thing. I think it's like truth. Somebody has, and you like, they were rolling. They were rolling to see whoever gets the highest number gets to ask the other person a question, but you end your question with what the fuck is up with that? Like, hey, I noticed blah, 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 blah. What the fuck is up with that? And like, you can put the other person on the spot. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm sorry, man. Oh my God, that sounds awful. That sounds awful. (laughs) That sounds like a lot of anxiety to me. Really? Okay, maybe Yes. No, listen, I love playing me some trivia games, but trying to put me on the spot. Oh, I'm scared no. of what I might say. Oh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't open it up. I. I would. We would have. It would just be you and I. Like we wouldn't be like getting the public to go. What the fuck is that? That would be wild. Oh my god. <laughs> wild. <laughs> That's no. what I'm saying. Sorry, I'm like, I'm I don't no. think I can do that. No. Um. Oh my god. A good influence. <laughs> that is <laughs> Danny. <laughs> Wait. What's this? Mashes. Okay. I gotta. I gotta. Can we pretty please play? I, we, oh, we can play. What, what the fuck is up with that when Dawn comes on next month? Oh, oh let's do that let's do that okay what it, it's, help us understand this good influence bad influence segment tell us about this i want to hear more about this this sounds fun i know i'm like I wait. one tarot and tarot to extreme okay let me start that one too i did that one i did the five four three yeah. two one i yeah. did tarot to the extreme as well um i pulled up a cult tea but i didn't it didn't show the thing so i'm gonna have to look the for it again yet? We might have to find one the way they've posted it in the description box. Where they posted it in the description, box. yeah. And yeah, so I was like, I don't want to go in a rabbit hole because then I'm just like staring at my phone while we're on. <laughs> yeah, we have a game like this, Jessica Reed. We're talking about like uh, what's what? What's the name of it again? The face one. Oh, the guess game. who? Guess who? Yeah, like guess who? But with tarot, we talked about that, so that's definitely starred. And we're looking at that. That'd be fun. That would be easy to make too. Well, like I say, make like. You would almost need one of those like tiny tarot and like take a guess who game and like put put in your that sounds so fun. Oh my god. Right? Because then you can do like you can like ban certain questions, maybe. Like you can't ask if you're like are you uh, a student or a, a court or whatever? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, like the 20 questions. Yeah, I love that idea. This is know. a good kind of says we could do readings together for viewers. That'd be fun. Glitter and gumbo readings. Oh, I'm down. I'm down. Cool. That would be so Have fun. you ever read with somebody else? Have you ever done a two-person reading? Peggy and I kicked off a thing that I did on the channel a while back. We, we called it Tag Team Tarot. Oh, I remember that. I take that back. Yeah. And we read together and it was super fun. We just haven't been able to do it in a long time. I would so be down for this. That's this is fun. a great idea. Did I start it? Hold on. I got to find it. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I started. I, I, um, I used to read like that with my friend Chelsea. Like we would read and we would do like a tag team every once in a while, which was really cool. Yeah, that's super fun. And you can bounce off each other. I think that'd be really cool mm-hmm. because of the way we read too. Holy, I'm super down. Yep. Yep. I love this. What is a referee? Oh God, that'd be funny. She'd be a hard ass. I feel. Like. I know, right? Jeez. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I'm starring comments like crazy so that I can look at them after the stream. I got to keep. St- Danny, don't let me close the stream here tab. Remind me to keep it open after the stream so okay. I can write some of these down. Um, well, part of, I mean, we. Could, I was gonna say we could go back to that. So cool. cool. At markets? Oh, that's awesome. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I love. Oh, I love this. Oh my god. Can we do this? I want to do this. I want to do this so bad. Okay, Rifflin. That's a really good idea. I like this so much. 
This is gonna make me cry. I oh my know. god, I love that though. I'm like picturing it in my mind. I oh, know. So good. Mm. Okay, I want to do that for sure. I do okay, that for sure. yeah, tag that. That's a good one. I definitely tag that one. Oh, we could do a joint hot takes. That would be freaking fun. Oh, that would be so I fun. Need, I need to star that too. Hold on. I, I love your hot videos. takes too. Sometimes you'll say stuff and I'm like, girl, uh-uh. Let me tell you what I think about that shit. Yeah, I've done that with Peggy, but I've never done that with anybody else. That would be so fun. Oh, my God. That would be so oh, fun. Oh, Dawn is keeping notes. Magical. <gasps> I love you so much. Skill. You're the best. Oh, deck for each side was another one that got brought up. That would be fun. Oh, that would be fun. Yep. Oh, that should be a time travel tarot. Yo, with the ideas, are you just like our idea bank right now? Because this is amazing. Thank you so much yeah, for everything. Yeah, thank you. Ideas. Thank you. But that's the thing. Like, we just want, what do y'all want to see? We want to just have some fun here, you know? I like this. Oh. Starting that too. That would be yeah, fun. Would be and we do a joint like impressions. Like, mm. Oh, yep. Hate it, love it. Where you pick decks, one of you hates and the other one loves. And, and that would be fun. That would be fun. I love it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate yeah. it. That would be because we would just be basically roasting each other's shit, first of all. We would. Wow. Oh my God. And y'all, if y'all have not seen, it was Tara and Kelsey, right? Oh my God. The deck roasts? The deck roasts. I linked him on my community Phenomenal. tab. The link is on my community tab. You need to. Y'all need to I've watch been it. Dawn for like, I'm like, have you watched it yet? Have you watched it yet? Have I watched, watched it? I haven't watched the whole thing, but when I tell you, Did like, you? I almost peed and I'm like, just right there in there. Because, especially because I know Tara a bit. And yeah. so, like, hilarious. hilarious. I did oh. see that, Ruby. Thank you. Uh, yeah, it was so funny. Oh my god. I that is the best thing, truly. One of the best things I've seen on Tarot Tube in a very, very, very long time. It was so good. And partly I think what made it so good is that it was hilarious, but there was so much love in it. So there was nothing yes. like mean spirited or like under you know what I mean? Like it was so sweet and like funny and cute and adoring. And like it was amazing. I loved it, it so love much. It. Oh my god. I love it. Oh, de-influencing each other. This is also good. Oh, I love that. Okay. Oh my God. We're gonna have so many things to write down. I Did know. you get roasted, D? I got roasted, but not intentionally. I didn't know they were doing it. And, and then one of the things that they did was on if you if the playful heart tarot is your favorite tarot. Now listen, it is a favorite, <laughs> but the way that it pegged every single fucking thing about me was hilarious. And like they literally like Tara's like Lisa. <laughs> To multiple times that came up i died i died i died it matter of fact if you saw tara tara uh tagged me she was like okay so maybe go and check this video out at like four minutes and 55 seconds she was flipping through krista's um cottage witch oracle and it oh. came to the possum and she's like so every time i see a possum i'm gonna think about danny <laughs> Danny, yeah, I can't. Possums and Danny are forever linked in my brain. That sure. is amazing. Peggy would love the de-influence. She'd be like, yes, please do that. Please, God. Somebody talk we, about it. We just talked about that with the Tara Volatile. I'm like, Lisa, no. Yeah. No. I mean, guaranteed, I mean that voice like, voice I know you, time. I know you want to be excited, but like, guaranteed, no, you are going to. And the amount of times after you told me that, that I still tried to convince myself I wanted it, you must have been sitting there like, Lisa, come on. <laughs> I'm telling you. And the thing is, it's like, it's not that I don't want you to get it and love it because I do. But at the same yeah. time, like I know there are aspects of it that you're going to love. And there are other aspects that you're just not going to be able to use it. You know, like. It's, it's not. I, yeah. I think it would be a good one to study, but not practical for you. Yeah. Um, can somebody grab for us the link to the first in the set of, I think there was three, two or three deck roasts. Can someone grab the link who's a mod and throw it in chat if you can? No pressure, Dawn. I know you're doing stuff, but no I would appreciate it. Um, just because people Tara's in here. Like Tara, can you post? Can you post them? We don't know if she's a mod, so it might not let her. It might not let me. her. Oh damn! Will it ask if your mod? Can approve it. She can try. I was about to say but... if it it might ask if you can approve. I can always grab it. I do have it up in my community tab. So worst case, if we don't get it up right now, just go to my community tab, scroll down, and you'll find me shouting it out because it was yeah. amazing. Um, oh, thank you so much, Don. Oh, Don's got it. Awesome. Don's got it. Cool. Thank you. 
what are deck roasts? So uh, Tarot Geek, they were like, basically they made a series of videos where they were lovingly roasting people who submitted their favorite tarot deck. So like, if this is your favorite deck, we're going to roast you kind of thing. That's what it was. So it wasn't roasting the deck, but the person whose favorite deck is the, is, is that it was, it's so funny. Oh my God. It was so great. It was so great. And they had to like put some time and effort into it too. You could tell they like definitely prepped and it was, it was worth it. It was so good. Um, amazing. Yeah. They were, I literally la I literally was crying laughing at points. It was so good. I still have them queued up on my list. I've been gone. I haven't like, uh Oh, what happened? I don't know. Where's your face? What? I can hear you. Oh I my God. You. Did my camera just like straight up die? Are you Was kidding me? Hot? We got a lot of energy up in here. I would not be surprised. If it I would not be hot. surprised either. I'm like, are you? And it's plugged in. Like how uh, did we exhaust oh. it in less than an hour? Wait, it's been an hour and 25 minutes to be fair. I mean, fair, but Let's I have another one. Hold on. It's going to be crappy. Y'all going to see me all like wild. You wouldn't do we don't care. Anything. We're here for you, not your not your production you value. You're good. If you I love busy, the quiet cursing in the background. Yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, my battery died. I have to plug in a oh. my different camera. Oh, Piece of crap. Luck. Oh, okay. And it's Enjoy your bath, Kay. Wild Danny is amazing, y'all. <laughs> If we accomplish one thing with glitter and gumbo, it's like unleashing all of Wild Danny on the internet. Oh my like god. Y'all gonna be like, who is this? Oh, god, can someone pledge an amount and give Danny a new camera? <laughs> Her camera, I think it was just oh, 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 you got I see what she's doing in the background. Hold on, I'm gonna give her a minute to collect herself, <laughs> figure her stuff out. Um, if you scroll up, Lavina, Don Michelle Tarot just posted. Is it your whole channel, Don Michelle Tarot? Don Michelle just posted a link. Yeah. Oh, oh. I'll give Danny a second here and then I'll pop her back on. There we go. Okay. Look at you. you. All right. Yeah, we can see you. You're all good. Hey, this one is not super bad, but Jesus Christ, the white balance is something to be oh my god who said this i like terra volatile but i wear care care bears pajamas who am i oh my god this did you just describe benabelle when in like a single sentence <laughs> amazing okay hold on i missed the comment though it's the y'all the chat is insane uh, i can't find anything but i feel that i also think it's kind of funny how if you're the type of person i mean not speaking from experience or anything slash sarcasm if you're the type of person <laughs> who is into rainbows and unicorns and everything glittery and hello kitty and all the things um people just kind of assume you have no depth sometimes i'm just saying that's not a thing that's not a thing just kidding. listen that's i can not. get spicy too i have my passions i have my i anger. love spicy i have so. i have my, my my shit i am not Listen, I, I joke about being all rainbows and butterflies and unicorns, but listen, unicorns have stabby parts. They can stab you. Literally. <laughs> that really dark. <laughs> that did sound really dark, but hey. But I just it's think it's fun. important. Listen, you just, I'm just saying. Oh my God. I'm trying to like. Oh, I don't want to like. I love that you all are connecting with each other. That's amazing. By the no. way, let's have a brief moment. If you have a YouTube channel, and you make tarot related content or witchy related content pop your channel name not a link because it probably will hide the comment pop yeah. your channel name in the chat right now let's go follow each other yep put it, it up, going. Put it up, put it up. promote do it <laughs> the unicorns have stabbed <laughs> Wait, i sent barb oh my god barb it, i don't know if she's still here i sent her a mug um and it was like oh god Oh, yeah, it was a unicorn mug and it said, I am beauty, I am grace, I will stab you in the face. I love that so hard. So hard. It was great. It was great. There you go. So, everybody posting their channel names in, if y'all are looking for new yes. channels, go check it out. And if you're in chat, you should be able to click the three little dots if you're on a computer anyway. You should what? be able to click the three little chats, the three little dots Josh. next to their comment. And click go to channel. And if you open it up in a new tab, you can subscribe to a bunch of new peoples. Was that what it said, Barb? Did I get it right? Is that what it said? I am beauty. I am grace. I will stab you in the face. Is that what it said? I hope I got it right. Yes, y'all. I would prefer a mug with unicorns have stabby parts. That's the thing now. 
<laughs> that is a thing that I will never live down. Do you know um, they have the little the little mugs that'll have like the little unicorn horn, and when you turn it around, it's got its little butt. Oh my god, that would be amazing. Oh my god. That sounds like Don Michelle. I know it does sound like her, doesn't it? Oh my god. I do love the rhyme though. I mean the rhyme is good. The rhyme is good. It does. It yeah, keep throwing different. your channel names up in chat, y'all. Yeah. Or if you have an Instagram or TikTok or something else you want to mention, yeah, just make sure you put the name of it so people can find it. Because yeah. YouTube hides links. I do crazy, um, stupid stuff on TikTok. You guys don't follow me. Danny's TikTok is amazing. Go find Danny. My TikTok, TikTok is it's like amazing. manic. Like you never know what it's I'm gonna post. It is completely it's okay. It's I'm just like, hey, this is right. Thank you, my friend. Y'all want to yeah. say hi to Jacob? We were just talking about you. Jacob. Peggy earlier. Oh, Jacob, come bring all the good color in. He balanced oh, out your yeah. mic. I'm watching. Uh, he's watching us. Peggy's like legit still asleep. I was up here at like 5.45 this morning. She's like, I am not. <laughs> Oh, you can ask Jacob. My ass was ready an hour beforehand, thinking I'm all like, whatever. Panicked glide I got from Danny. Well, not panicked. You weren't panicked, but the oh my god, were we starting at what time were we starting? <laughs> you were ready a whole hour early. I was legit so confused. I was like, I heard eleven, and I, my mind hooked on it and just went with it. Jacob was like, um, I pulled up the thing, and Lisa says twelve, and I'm like, I'm aware of that now. Thank you. Thanks, Jacob. You're welcome. Got the back. Oh, got and the I back. asked her. I said, she did. I said, what time is it at? She said, 11. I said, our time or Lisa's time? Our time. And I was like, yeah, right. No. No. Completely wrong. 10 Lisa's time, 12 our time. Complete. No. Yeah. Yep. This, this is, this is what's happening. It looks fine. I had it like, pinned. Oh. It's just wild. I had a pin and it doesn't want to go there at all. Why? Well, listen, I think the fact that you have sprouted a unicorn horn for our very first chat is wildly appropriate. I mean, we talked about I mean, me making right. gumbo. So if I'm going to make gumbo, you got to unicorn it up. Like, this is what we're doing. Can we just talk Here. about the fact that her husband is a hairdresser? And I have the amount of times I've begged for him to fly to Canada and fix me. Like, the amount of times. <laughs> Can you please send your husband here? Can you just Can stick him in one of those teleporter things gumbo. and get him here? Because Lisa always goes and she's like, I like this, but now I have, like, she talked about this morning, you talked about this morning, she was like, I like it, but now I have bangs, and I didn't want bangs, but they were already cutting, so I said, okay, we're going to have bangs. That's so, it. like, I needed to grow up. I did not want bangs, but what do you do? I mean, when the sisters are there, they're there, like, it's too late, you can't, like, oh, I didn't want, she didn't ask me if I wanted curtain bangs, she just did them, or whatever they're called, when they do the little half. Why? I don't know why. I literally said I want it long enough to tuck behind my ear. Like, hello? <laughs> Anyways, I have problems finding good hairdressers up here. That, was a, a, whole that was a very poor consultation that they did with you then. It was a very poor consultation. Thank you. But she's the best one I found found yet. So guess what? I'm going back to her again. Just going to say I don't want bangs. That's that was right. what to say. Yeah. Oh, my God. Taranat plans you do your own hair? I could never. I could never. Listen, I, I groomed my dog, and it took, like, 10 times before she even started to look like a dog again, okay? <laughs> it's, all, it's a whole thing. Danny. Yes, I know. It's a while. That makes it's me Cajun, too. I don't know. We both Cajun, so it cancels out. I don't know. That's it, double. It's double Cajun over there. He just sounds more Cajun than I do. My, the amount my of people that are saying we need we need glitter and gumbo shirts though for real. Oh so, yeah, that was the first thing, y'all. Do you know what Danny did? She designed that design and immediately was like, "I'm gonna go stick it on a shirt." But you were out of ink or something for your. I was out of ink. Yeah, I was out of ink. I was gonna go put it on a shirt. Um, yeah, that would have been fun. How long have we been together? We've been together twenty years. Twenty years. Married right, seventeen. Seventeen, but we've known each other since we were five. So we've known each other for thirty-five years, which is wild. Jacob's accent is strong. You find Jacob's accent is stronger? Well, well, I I hide mine a lot more, probably. But you've been talking like that. Nah, I've been time. talking like that. Oh. I don't know. I don't hear it as much in Jacob, I guess, because like I'm used to hearing a like if you're gonna have an accent, it's usually thick. And I don't find his is very thick. I feel like either of yours is thick, but maybe it's because I'm used to 
I'm used to like uh, Danny's Cajun comes out when she's feeling spicy though. When Danny is feeling spicy, it's all out. It's oh all yeah, out. I can't hide it. Like I it doesn't it can be truly spicy yet. It'll happen though. We'll get oh, a little about something. Who me? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I'm a messy bitch. You know that. Jacob's messy. He don't get mad, but he messy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> messy. I love it. Mm -hmm. I love we all have a good job. Going back to yard work. Love you. Okay. Bye. You have fun. Okay. Oh, uh, see. <laughs> see, apparently you need blue in your background next up. Blue apparently like so. Blue. The blue came in and it changed the whole thing. I probably have a light somewhere, but listen, I'm not really that concerned about it. Yeah. Amazing. I love it. Fine. I love it. Every, I, the amount of times Danny has glided while she's actively like in the process of getting her hair hair redone, and I just like all my jealousy comes out. And I'm just like, what? Don't I have a live in hairdresser? I want it so bad. <laughs> Well, and it's always so random. Like I was at the shop the other day and he was like, you want to put a toner in your hair? I was like, cool. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Yeah, you do whatever. Okay. Amazing. I love it. Merch teamed up with Moonlit Say. Oh my God. What's that? I don't know what that means. I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I don't understand. Somebody explain. Explain like I'm five because I'm a little hyper. So I might be kind of five at the moment. Um, it's all very much the same if you're Scottish. It all comes out when you're feeling spicy. I feel like anybody's accent comes out strong when they're when they're worked up because like. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, because I, like for me, it's like hind brain takes over. Like. I was telling Danny like, the way that I am so impressionable. Like. <laughs> we were talking for like there was a, there was like a week there where we were talking multiple hours a day. Oh yeah. And. Uh, the way I started sounding just a little Cajun was like wild. Just like, just so you know, I'm not doing this on purpose. It just happens, okay? And as funny as it is, it was Peggy that noticed it. Yeah. I didn't even notice. It was... Well, why would you... Like, and, and but the thing is, Peggy knows because Peggy and I used to talk hours every single day before we met even for the first time. And I, before I even moved to Canada, was like taking on Canadian inflections in my voice because I'm just... I don't know what you call that. I'm very. But I do the same thing, but you know, I used to do it a lot in high school because I Hi, did voices. Um, mm -hmm. When I did um, performing arts, sorry y'all, I'm sorry, I itch. You did voices? Um, Wait, tell me more about doing voices. Oh yeah, well, like I would do poetry and prose and uh, drama and stuff like that. So you had to change, like, if you change characters, you have to change your voice to do your uh, kind of in the same way, like you know, audio books and things like that. Um, you kind of right. slightly change that voice or change the tone or change the accent. And so I used to play with that a lot, which is why yeah. it, in, uh, it, that all started with acting, like mimicking and, and, and doing those kind of things. But then I was having trouble because I wasn't mimicking, especially at first, like through elementary school up until about upper middle school, maybe around like eighth grade-ish, uh, seventh, yeah. eighth grade. Um, it was such a deep, thick Cajun accent that nothing really came through, no matter what I like, I could mimic, but not like I couldn't fully lose it. And that was when my speech teacher kind of worked with me there, which I kind of like, I like, but I hate at the same time because I lost, I know. you know what I mean? So the fact that it comes back, I think when we never, when we don't expect it is perfect because now I mimic yeah, a lot more than I used to. It's kind of like reclaiming for you now then because you were kind yeah, of like really kind of taught yourself to drop it. So now letting yourself allow it back in probably feels really good. It really does. And you know, when I was talking to um my mentor, Mr. Mr. Daigle, I it's like I would pick back up and I would like sit in those words and and like feel that again. And it's just like, man, I miss that. Like I miss hearing that and like, you know, even hearing him talk about like you have to embrace it again be proud of yeah. who you are and what you are and that you're continuing this tradition and you know this that and the other and it was just like that pep talk that you needed to just kind of let that back in and so like yeah I just try to embrace it that from you I've been feeling that from you big time like when did you you and Jacob moved back to Louisiana how long ago um it is 10 probably eight or nine years ago yeah and it feels like and we weren't going for about about eight years, so. Yeah, it feels like for the last two to three years, it's like you've been coming home for real. 
Does that make sense? That's yes, what because I, I was so blocked from it for a long time. Like I kind of like blocked yeah. that off. I didn't want to be here. You know, it, that wasn't the thing. It was too small. It was too whatever. Like I just didn't want it. And so it was like a back and forth. Like I feel like I need to be here, but I don't want to be here. But I feel like I need. And like now I really understand because sitting in it, re-engaging with it, you know, that's kind of a thing. Did you yeah, totally. totally. So um, born and raised here, both Jacob and I, obviously, <laughs> we've known each other forever. Anyway, um, it was probably end of 2007, early 2008. We moved to Dallas, um, like the Dallas Fort Worth area, and we stayed there. Um, then I also worked out in Denver. I stayed there for about six, seven months. And then I went down to Southeast Colorado. Zero out of 10 would not recommend. If you're from there, I'm sorry. I love you, but I don't like it over there. Um, I lived there for about another five months or so um, yeah. in a crap ass hotel. And then uh, went back to Dallas again for a while. And then, um, well, like Arlington, we moved a little further, whatever, but, uh, we stayed yeah. in the Metroplex and then we came back down here. So amazing. Amazing. My summers were spent in West Virginia. And when I'd get home, I'd be strong hillabilly. <laughs> amazing. I love that. Yeah. I think it's like, we, we bring a little piece of us. I feel like we, we, we bring a little piece of, of where we've been with us all the time, but yeah. like, I think personality wise and like whatever's going on for you internally, I think just changes how much of that shows, but I'm yeah. very like, you can tell who I've been talking to where this time where I've been, but I've I've always been a very easy read in all ways that way. Like I feel like I don't. Everybody that's ever known me is like like you can. T I have no poker face. Like you, you know, <laughs> I like something. I don't like something. Like it's really obvious. And um, it's so funny. Like if I get like Jacob knows who I'm around to. Like if I'm around my cousins who have a real thick accent, I will come home talking like coon ass baby. Like is bad you know yeah so there, oh, we're gonna go here yeah we're both cancer cancer son i yeah. you're sad moon which i don't know why that never stuck or i never remembered that because that makes so much sense to me i am gemini moon um, i'm a gemini rising <laughs> i'm a libra rising so i've actually got two air out of my three because people were always telling me you're such an air person i'm like what do you mean i'm a water person what but like my personality has a lot of air for sure like that my squirreliness so much and my, yeah. Oh, you can wow. totally see the Gemini. And my Gemini is expanded because I also have Jupiter in Gemini at the exact same degree as my moon. Whoa. Making it big. Whoa. So it's like literally the exact same degree. They're they're not just conjunct. They are like they are they're, they're conjunct. They're like holy crap. Yeah. Yeah. It's wild. It's wild for sure. Oh my God. So are we thinking we're going to probably stick with this? Do we want to stick with this kind of schedule? Like roughly the last Sunday, just stick with it. Cause that's what we're used to and whatever. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. cool. Where's my Mars? Uh, I'll tell you, let me, let me look. I have, I have my chart bookmarked somewhere. Mine somewhere. Uh, yeah. Astro. Yeah. It's on astro.com. I keep it. Cause yeah. otherwise I would never remember. What it is, I have it also in my planner. I was about to say, like, I've printed mine out like a bazillion times and I still don't remember half my really? stuff. Okay, my Mars is in Taurus. Taurus. Yeah. Cancer. Oh, my Mercury's in Leo. That's the other one. I had, when I had a reading from um, Samantha Menzo, she did kind yeah. of talk about her on, on here. Um, I think it was my, the fact that my, Mercury, which is communication, is in Leo. Makes sense why I kind of weirdly like public speaking, even though I'm shy in so many contexts. Like, I like public speaking. I love presenting. I was in speech and debate. Like, I love no, I that love piece. That. But, like, if I'm not in that situation, don't don't put me on the spot. But, like, if I'm there, it's fine. It's weird. See, I'm the same way. Like, for me, it's always been, like, you can put me in front of a room full of people on a stage, and I'll do whatever. Um, yeah. but if I know people, like if it's people I know, <laughs> no, I'm not going on. I'm not doing that. Yeah. 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 For real. Yeah. I hate, I hate it. Even my speech oh, yeah, teacher, 
even my speech teacher would get so annoyed with me because I wouldn't pre like I would win in certain in certain things like I would win. Oh my god, thank you. Um Oh, that's such a cool comment. And she was like, that. I want to see you, pra like, I want to help you. I want to see you practice. And I'm like, uh, mm -mm. yeah. She yeah. would watch me through the door when I'd perform so oh, that I wouldn't yeah. see her. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Okay. I'm like so distracted by the chat. So, wait, why does Taurus Mars make sense? Because I'm not familiar with that one as much. We're talking Western astrology right now. Oh. I don't know. I don't have my Vedic chart. Which is real sky? Is it Vedic and real sky? The sky the same? I don't know if it is or not. I um, this is Greek to me. Is Taurus Mars okay? I know Mars has to do with it doesn't have to do with like your anger and stuff. Is like Taurus yeah. Mars mean like I'm slow to anger, but like then when I get there, when I, you get there, you're stubborn yeah. and you stay still. Uh, if that's what it means, is my birthday around the first of July? No, my birthday's on the thirteenth. Mine's on Mercury, the ninth. You have Mercury and Leo and Mars and Taurus. Do we have the same chart, Christian? Is that what we're finding out? Are we are we born in the same year? Maybe. And the same place? I don't know. That's wild. That's cool that we're all the same. Okay, thank you, Rochelle. I was hoping you were in here. They're Maybe not they're the not same. Okay, cool. But I thought for some reason I had it in my head that Vedic was more, was closer to. I don't know. I don't know, man. Good night, Lisa. It was so fun hanging out with you earlier. Lisa was Hello. on with me and with um if we had a few people with us, Bohemian Rose Tarot. And Totero and Benny at the Fool's Apprentice. It was a good time. So that's going to be out on Benny's channel soon. I'll keep you all Yay! posted. But it was a really fun chat. Um, as far as oh, the Taurus is, I said what I said energy. <laughs> I'm not. I, I, it's kind of funny. I, I refuse to rewrite history. That's something I was telling Danny that. Like, I'm I'm not. Like, it is. it was what it was. Like, I'm not going to go back and, like, make it something else now uh, in anything. It's like, no. it is what it is. It's like, fun. you're just, you yeah. know. You, you are always in the point in life where you are when things are happening, right? And then at a mm -hmm. different point in life, you might have a different perspective, but that doesn't mean you should have known that then, you know? So I exactly. On that. And I love the way you yeah. would say that. It's like, um, you know, I can't be mad at my past self for not knowing what I didn't know. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Because I spent, I, I went through a period in my life where that's exactly what I was doing. I was beating myself up oh, for yeah. not protecting myself in scenarios where I didn't know to protect myself or where I like, maybe I was too open with somebody and I shouldn't have been or whatever, but it's like, I don't want to go back and like, that's who I am. Like I can't. That's who I am. <laughs> and uh, my thing is, is like, especially like going over some of the things that, that I've gone through and, and those experiences, it's like, but I wouldn't have gotten here if I would have known. Yes, this is it entirely. It's like there was this question. I, I'm reminded of it because Benny recently did that 25 wacky questions and resurrected it. One of the questions in 25 wacky questions what, that was a tag Peggy and I did like five years ago or something. Mm -hmm. But in there, we had a question Would you rather have, oh, shoot, now I'm not going to remember, and a redo button? Maybe it was, oh, would you rather be able to copy and paste in real life or undo in real life? And I was like, Copy and paste, yes, because I'd be copy and pasting money all all day long and giving it to everybody and like living in the lap of luxury. Be great. Money would mean nothing. But, Hell yeah. But undo, like I can't regret even the most horrible things. Like I can definitely, well, there are certain things where you're like, yeah, I wish that. There's lots of things I wish they wouldn't have happened, but I can't regret the journey. You know what I mean? There's no. a song by Rascal Flatts called God Bless the Broken Road. Have you heard that? Yeah, like I know exactly. Road. Yes. Like that, like. If I wasn't there, if I didn't go through those experiences, I wouldn't be where I am. Where I am, yeah. And that's the whole thing. Like, there are some scenarios that I don't want to play out again, much less in a different way. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, one hundred percent. I don't want to be able to go back because I would still know what I know. It wouldn't. It still wouldn't undo. It doesn't no. erase from your brain. And, and I think that's no. kind of where. I am with that. It's like, no matter how much you want to erase, you already know what was done. Yeah. Even if you take it back and try it again, it still happened. Yeah. You it's still like what I'm saying, like you can't unknow what you now know. And no. the, the, the more crass version of that is you can't put the shit back in the horse. Like once it's out, it's out. Like <laughs> it's out, it's out. Yeah. We call like, that the glass yeah. shattering, you know, like once the yeah. glass shatters, you can never fully put it back together again. Yes. And I think, but that's the thing is part of where I've come to in life is because of putting things back together that have broken, yeah. you know, that, that those breaks, I think teach us a lot about ourselves and what we're made of. And they also help us 
grow and like learn. We we learn no matter what the experience is, no matter whether it's like you screwing up or something going not the way you wanted it to or something falling apart or failing at something, all of that stuff creates that 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 upward momentum you need to grow and change in life. Otherwise, you'd just be the same person you were when you were like 15. And I don't know about you, but I do not want to be the person I was when I was 15. No. <laughs> no, thank no? you. I think this is like the most like me I've ever been. And like, I'm not, no, ma'am, I'm not trying to go back to that bullshit. Yes, exactly. Or you built something new with the broken pieces. Have you yeah. guys seen that, um, that beautiful uh, Japanese pottery? Oh, kids. Oh, yeah, where they mark it with gold. Yeah, where they pour gold into broken pottery and like make new beauty, beauty out of it. It's such a beautiful analogy for that kind of growth. Like it's so powerful. It's so powerful. Um, never, ever want to go backwards for sure. For sure. Kitsune. Okay, I was pretty close. I doubted myself. I almost said Kitsune and I was like, are those the seven tailed foxes or whatever? And then I tell, oh my God, I'm going to, I need to stop talking. But like, <laughs> was it, was it, listen, this is seven. why I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I'm not going to say it yeah. right. I'm going to say the wrong thing. Yes, this Don for sure. Kintsugi is, I thought there was an N in there. Yeah, Kintsugi. Um, as a perpetual rewriter, I would not want the option to redo anything. I'd never move forward. Like that is why Ooh. devices like the freaking free write and stuff exist. So you can't go back in your writing. Go backwards. Forward. Kins Oops, Kintsugi. I was right. Kintsugi is the seven-tailed fox. Okay, 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 okay. You all have me. Thank you. Okay, and then it's Kintsugi, Kintsugi for the pottery. Right. I love you all. Thank you for being brains in the chat because I don't, mine is offline. Offline. <laughs> Y'all, when I tell you the hype Danny and I, and I have had for this, and you Just did not disappoint. Holy cow. Thank you for the showing most up. excited to come on here and Thank do this with you guys. Here. I could not freaking wait. Could not wait. Yeah, we can't wait to do it again. We're going to do it again mm -hmm. next month on Danny's channel. Yeah. So keep an eye on our social media. Make sure you're subscribed to us both, obviously. Yeah, and Very if important. you follow us on Instagram as well, both of us on Instagram, we post about it there as well. So you can follow us there and on here, and you'll yeah. be able to see whose channel it's on. We usually, well, I know this time we linked it. Um, we'll continue to link it. That way you can follow it um, yeah. and, like, you know, navigate it. <laughs> Yep. So keep an eye out. We will be here again. Look for us roughly the last Sundays of the month and we'll just swap, swap back and forth and yeah, we'll just go back and forth. I don't want to end it, but I feel like we got to wrap it. I know it's already like two hours. I'm like, yeah, it's probably I know. it went by so fast. If you're watching back later, y'all, please comment down below. If you have requests or ideas, things you want to see us do in this space, we really want this to be a space that everybody feels really comfortable and cozy in and um feels like they're a part of so if there's something you want to see us do or try and we're gonna try to have other people on with us yep, like that, kinds of stuff. that chat rolls by really fast real fast i'm gonna be honest i could not see half the stuff that was posted so if you guys said something yeah, okay. i'm so sorry like please know yeah. that we are not intentionally missing things you know <laughs> yeah yeah, this was amazing, and we cannot wait to do it again. We will be back with Don Michelle next month on Danny's channel. Yay. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Are we good? Are we good? Can we say goodbye? Okay. We're good. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, now to hit the button. Hold on. Okay, bye. Oh. Again. bye.